Webtoon things I hate. Number one, furry webtoons. Next, ugly characters. It's so weird when a character is called ugly and then they literally just look the exact same as the other characters. The only difference is that they have glasses or something or like pimples, but they have no eyebrows. And then when you take off the glasses and put on makeup, people are like, oh my gosh, you look so good. Bro, what is up with people thinking that glasses are nerdy and ugly? I literally have a glasses kink. When someone wears glasses, they immediately go up in the attractiveness scale, okay? I'm talking about you, Nanami. Also, also, usually the prettiest girl is like blonde haired and blue eyes or something, which is whatever, bro. But they look the exact same as the protagonists. Literally just the same person wearing a different wig. It's just same face syndrome all over again. And I know what y'all are gonna say. But Colleen, don't you have same face syndrome as well? Hell yeah. I'm just yapping for real. Come on, guys. Let me be a hater. But anyway, it's not that hard to set two characters apart. You could have really just added a few extra lashes and given the more attractive character juicier lips you know and thicker makeup love triangles bro i hate love triangles so much okay so usually in a romance webtoon there is the male lead right and this guy is always black haired and he has this exact hairstyle he's a ceo or he's a wealthy heir plus mommy and or daddy issues you cannot forget about that for some reason he's so cold and brooding he's a red flag and he's mentally ill like he almost always has ptsd and is suffering from some sort of childhood trauma. Either his mom died or his dad died or his dog died. Hashtag I can fix him. Meanwhile, the second male lead is perfect. He's a cutie patootie. He's not problematic at all. He just makes you smile a lot. And for some reason, he loves you no matter what. He's like Jesus or something. But, but he's broke. That's right. This guy is a walking green flag, but he's poor. So no, thank you. Like, can you imagine how that happens in real life? Imagine confessing to your crush and then they go like, oh, uh, sorry, I don't like you. You're poor. Poor. poor second male lead's heart gets broken all the time. It's so stupid. It's literally so predictable. Clearly, this guy is just a backup. In case something ever goes wrong with a male lead, she can just go running back to him, you know? Or she can use him to make the male lead jealous. Now, this is every woman's fantasy. Now, I could be talking about every single webtoon and K-drama ever. Love triangles are cliche af, but will I continue to eat it up? Hell yeah. Yes, I will eat it up every single time. Next, Lolly looking MC. If you don't know what lolly is, this is an example. Okay, so for context, I was reading this manhwa a few years ago. My memory is a bit hazy now, but the male lead was like so big and so huge. He was like seven feet tall, okay? Now, he was pretty hot, not gonna lie. I would smash. But meanwhile, the female lead, she's like 19, but she was like 4'11". Absolute freaking midget, bro. So they looked very weird together. Like, how would it fit? Like, look at this panel, guys. Guys, that is is a huge size difference bro and also why is his head so small compared to his body bro got the yaoi build now i'm not hating on short people okay maybe i am i know it's supposed to be intentional okay because ooh, wow big guy small girl but that's not really the reason why i'm uncomfortable not only was she tiny okay she also acted like a child like they portrayed her as this ultra innocent girl so when they start doing um makeout sessions it's weird now don't get me wrong i like this webtoon i absolutely loved the art style but you know you could make her look a little bit older you know don't make her look like she's 12 it's weird but anyway this isn't aimed at this particular webtoon okay i'm talking about webtoons and even anime where girls look 12 please don't do that next bl community listen i do not hate y'all i'm just really concerned because why is it that every time a bl comic goes viral it's always just some dude beating up another dude okay so for those who don't know bl stands for boy love. Now, I strongly believe that this entire genre is just made for 14 year old girls with a lot of daddy issues because all the viral BL comics that I've heard of, they all involve some sort of torture or something. Like that one webcomic that trended a few years ago, Killing Stalking. I know it's not BL, okay? But a lot of BL fans read it. Basically, it's a Beauty and the Beast type of story and like the bottom gets heavily violated and that is an extreme understatement. I'm not even gonna get into the details, but anyway. 14 year olds with daddy issues are romanticizing it as they always do so you know all i want to say is please seek help therapy is the answer but okay i'm not about to start beef with the whole community i'm gonna be the first to admit do i still find them hot heck yeah like if someone like nanami for example choked me with their biceps i wouldn't hate it instead i would go harder daddy 
Okay, this is a joke. Violence is wrong. Next, loser protagonist. I know that the protagonist is supposed to be a broke loser so that you, the viewer, can relate to them, but like, they're not even trying. The protagonist is literally just an empty shell, okay? Their entire personality revolves around figuring out which boy to choose, even though the second male lead is clearly better. I'm talking about you, Juk Young. She fumbled the entire bag for real. Like, bro, we know nothing about the protagonist. What are your hobbies? What are your interests? Who's your favorite TikTok thirst trapper? We don't know. All she ever thinks about is these two boys. And also, the female lead doesn't have to be all tough and strong and hates men. That gets old and annoying really quick. That's not the only personality available. You know, why not make them girly? It's okay to make girls girly. Next, miscommunication. I hate, hate miscommunication. This is the number one thing I hate. If miscommunication has a million haters, I'm one of them. If it has one hater, I'm that one hater. If it has no haters, I'm dead. Get out of here with your crappy writing. Is that the only way to progress the plot? A misunderstanding takes place and suddenly the main couple avoids each other for like five chapters? Hell no. If you've watched the movie called 20th Century Girl, you know what the heck I'm talking about. Bro, all it takes is five minutes. Five minutes, man. You only need five minutes of communication to solve the entire freaking problem. It's just crappy writing, okay? I read webtoons to be happy, not to be depressed, okay? Because my life is depressing enough as it is. Ugly art style. Nope. Sorry. If the art style is bad, I am 100% not reading it. Listen, I can tolerate a crappy storyline as long as there's a handsome hot man to swoon over. What can I say? I'm shallow F. In a lot of popular manhoods today, the story is so mid, but it's the art style that carries. So if you want to make a webtoon that will blow up, make them hot, I guarantee you. All the hoes will be flocking in self-insert protagonist. Okay, especially for fantasy novels. I hate it when the protagonist is clearly just a self-insert. Like, you can tell that the author is just projecting through them. Usually, the protagonist is a loser, but then suddenly, they become OP and they have no flaws. And it's not just in fantasy novels, too. You can notice that in every romance webtoon. Like, bro, why is the protagonist supposedly ugly? And then there are, like, four guys head over heels for her, rizzing her up. That doesn't make any sense, right? So, anyway, as always, Always. Don't take this too seriously. I'm just being a hater for real. It's called pet peeves for a reason, bro. It's not that deep. I grew up reading webtoons and then K-dramas, and I know that these tropes are heavily overused because they sell, because they're popular. If people didn't pay attention to them as much, then webtoon authors wouldn't use them at all. Like, heck yeah, I want a billionaire to be obsessed with me. And then there's this backup guy who will accept me with open arms. It's obviously just trying to appeal to the female fantasy. In the end, we need to be aware that Fiction is fiction. Guys, true love does not exist. Hope you guys like this video. Watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.